Hi, this is Chad, and this is a quick video on how we are using Illuminate to coordinate our mock interviews being done at a distance. So there's a few buttons in Illuminate that you might be using for this that you don't normally use when you make a, or use an Illuminate session. So I just want to give a little bit of an overview for people if you're setting it up for the first time. Of course, you're welcome to get a hold of me and have me give you a hand when you actually do these sessions. So, um... The big thing that we learned the first time was doing the audio with a couple of headsets. A wasn't authentic, and B created some audio echo feedback things. So I recommend using a teleconference line to kind of connect the audio, and then have both the interviewer and the interviewee call into it. We're still using audio to record that, or illuminate, sorry, to record that audio, and also to provide a visual. So the first button that you're going to use that you probably normally don't is this one on the bomb taskbar. It looks like a phone with an up arrow coming out of it. And what that basically does, when you click it, is it sends all the audio from Illuminate to the teleconference. So it basically dials Illuminate into it. You'll hear this sort of thing. Uh, you might get a pop-up to confirm that you heard something. Um, it does take a minute to connect. So I'm going to click confirm, and it may say you are now connected. There you go. At the tone, you will be the first caller in the conference. To mute or unmute your line during the call, please press star six at any time. Please note the line will be silent until another participant joins the call. Okay, so there we go. That's Illuminate saying, I, or that's the conference line actually saying, you dialed in. Okay? Now, you'll know this also has worked, as you'll see up in your participant list, I'll say teleconference. Let me just drag that aside there. Hold on a sec, let me do this. It says teleconference bridge, okay? And you see it's lit up, so audio is there with the teleconference bridge. Okay? Now, the second thing you're going to want to do is you can still use your headset to connect, but again, I found the audio will be better if you use your phone. So, in your audio tools here in Illuminate, if you click this little phone icon, what it does is it tells Illuminate, I'm not going to use my microphone, I'm going to use my telephone. So I press that. It'll give you uh, your dial-in information. I'm a moderator, so I see both. Um, the numbers you use will be different. This is just for the purpose of sample. So I say OK, basically. Right now, I would dial in my phone, so let me do that. Okay. Now, I'm... Uh, I'm going to stop dialing with that for now, just so the audio doesn't come out my speakers and we get a little bit of a... Uh, I'll loop back here now, okay? But when I click OK, that stops it. It leaves the pin number here in case I have to dial back in or change. Okay, so both the interviewer will call that number as well the interviewee, and you'll be live there in the teleconference. So you can hear each other, talk with each other. That's good. If you want to see each other, this is where you can use a webcam that you have plugged into your Illuminate computer. So you both might have Illuminate open in front of you, uh, allows you to see each other as you chat. So you're going to use this icon here that has a camera with an eyeball on it. So when you click it, it loads a window. There are a couple other buttons you're going to want to click here. First, you're probably going to want to click Preview. And it'll show you what you look like to the webcam. So you can help position your camera a little bit so you come up well. Uh, get an idea what you look like. Make sure you know your hair is pretty and stuff like that. But this doesn't allow you to be seen by the other person. This is just showing you what you will look like when you're being seen by the other person. To pass your image along, you have to click the transmit button. Okay? So now, if there's another person in this conference with me, they would see me. Um, this window will come up. They might have an extra dialog box underneath. Mine says find color. It just shows how they're going to be shown here. Let me just move this up a little bit. So if you come across looking gray, it's probably this little dialog box here. It says coarse gray. Okay. And if you don't see it, there's a little drop-down chevron here. It gives you these extra options, and I can choose, okay, fine color, so that I look as best as I possibly can. Okay. Now the last thing, we have our audio set up through the teleconference bridge. We've dialed in the teleconference. Uh, we have our visuals so we can see each other. The final button that you're going to want to click is right down on that bottom toolbar again. It's that big red circle. That's your record button. So that will allow you 
to record your session so that you can review these mock interviews at a later time through your Illuminate archive. Okay, so just really quickly to show you that again. Okay, let me disconnect these things. Okay. So one, dial Illuminate into your teleconference. Okay. Two, connect your audio to the teleconference. So by clicking this, you'll be given your, your dial-in information to call. That will provide audio. Three, turn on your camera and make sure you click, okay, let's let the camera load. Make sure you click the transmit button. This will make sure your image is being sent out so it can be seen by the person on the other end. You may want to change the color on how it looks. And four, and probably most importantly, is the record button. Make sure you capture your interview so you can review it at a later date. This concludes a short video on how to use Illuminate to capture and record your distance mock interviews. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Chad at the Neil Squire Society.